for what data migration project now tell me what exact it will do so moving the data from where now tell me moving the data from one one second moving the data from one data source to snowflake tell me why companies are moving to snowflake anyone any idea so why the companies are moving to snowflake reason cost cutting security performance okay, cost so, cutting so mainly for cost cutting to increase the then, performance so to increase the performance because of huge mm. volumes normal database cannot scalability so we can able to go for scalability okay so ease of maintenance so because of all the reasons companies are moving to snowflake mainly you can say cost cutting and performance and huge volume so because of all this reason company wants to move their on premises data to snowflake snowflake our role will be snowflake developer developer tell me how can i how can i communicate with the snowflake tell me how can i communicate with, with the snowflake with the sql sql it is called as structured query language language same thing now you know what we are having we are having ddl dml then then DC, DC, pcl DCL. drl and dcl DCL. so data definition <laughs> language manipulation language so see, we'll see the same thing so so those those ones say makers of earphones okay see it's a ddl data definition language language okay same thing so dml data manipulation language same thing we're having tcl that is transaction control language in a similar fashion dl said data retrieval or query query language them sing data control language okay tell me what the commands we're having create alter and drop ah, tell me what exactly create will do okay we already discussed just high level tell me what exactly create will do what it exactly? can create all the objects all the database object okay Objects. so used to create database objects okay see objects like it can be what it can be databases it can be schemas and then it can be tables it can be used it can be processors it can be functions so these are the database objects at same thing what is alter command will do what is alter command will do the existing object we can alter as per uh -huh. the what exactly alt command is used to it is used to modify, modify the, the existing modify the existing the object existing database objects definition so definition so they are trying to modify the same thing now what happened in similar fashion what is drop will do drop drop will do it is used to remove the database object object okay we can able to remove the database object now tell me of similar fashion what is dml having we are having insert uh, update delete then delete merge Thank and truncate is yes, so insert command update command so delete command merge it and truncate what is insert will do it insert will insert a, or populate yeah, the data or record in where in the where it will insert in the data existing database in the, in the existing database table so first database should be there then table should be there what about update it is used to modify the existing record so record data. should be there so same we can have same thing what about delete it is to remove the existing record record okay same thing what is truncate will do remove all the records all the records it will remove what about merge will do merge can perform insert update and delete at it we'll see the same thing in snowflake as of now merge is nothing but what it can perform insert update and delete update and it so this is fine now what is the conclusion what we discussed yesterday so ddls are auto committable committable same thing so dmls are not auto we'll see the same thing what is the difference same thing now what happened these dmls need to be controlled with the help of tcl that is transaction control language okay what are the commands we are having commit 
and roll back roll back uh, tell me what is commit will do it is used to save the data permanently wait to save the data permanently permanently in the in the what in the database table go to the point so same thing what is rollback will do rollback revert the changes okay it will, it will revert, revert the... back the changes so revert back the change so these changes cannot be stored in the database database okay now what happened how to see this data how can i see the data dql comments okay DQL. see i want to see we should go for data retrieval or data query language that is select a statement statement okay so this is fine go to the pointer so data retrieval our data query language query language okay see so we're having select statement we can able to get it done clear so far so see this is fine so this is no issues okay go back here so see now what happened what is dcl this is nothing but what data control language so data control language suppose like simple thing okay see i got offer from one company so they are asking to come to the office tell me directly can i go for the office campus huh? i should have id and access same thing so if you want to perform if you want to create any database object if you want to insert anything what happened we should have access or privileges privileges how can you get by using grant and revoke we'll see the same thing in snowflake as of now understand if you want to perform anything like okay if you want to give access or privileges to perform okay so to perform for the point of see to perform anything like creation of a table insertion of a record or fetching of what happened is your permissions by using grant same thing now what happened revoke is nothing but what to take back the privileges okay so we'll see the same thing in snowflake as of now understand so to take back the privileges privileges simple thing so first to see i want to have snowflake account tell me snowflake account do we need to install any software or any hardware a snowflake account yes, no, tell me anyone only no only because any no. okay because snowflake. so snowflake account so now before that tell me this snowflake account these things who will create which guy will create snowflake admin. snowflake admin will create okay. now what happened tell me if i want to create table what should be there compulsory should have one database tell me Data can you work so so before that tell me what are the instances we are having instances so development so test uat and then pre prod and a sandbox sandbox is there okay so sit system integration testing then so pre prod and production database tell me so we have full access suppose like if you want to perform can i create table in the production database huh? no we cannot we cannot okay see it is not possible okay why because reason is that word because oh, we don't have, admin will have okay, the see? access for so that. because now who will get access based on the grant and revoke command okay so you got the point now what happens so you see first we should have snowflake account then development database development schema uh, then what should be there then table should be created tell me how to get the table with the help of what command by using by using ddl by using create that is ddl statement ddl statement tell me how to populate the data selling no no insert no no insert query populate is nothing but insert that is dml dml now how now dml are what these are transactions so this transaction how to control with the help of trans that is commit commit no i want to fetch the data how to fetch the data by using dl that is select statement like this okay see what will happen one more time first we have one snowflake account okay database then schema then table that is ddl next that is insert that is dml tcl that is commit statement now how to see this data by using by using what drl that is select statement so before creating this table what should have we should have permission that is grant grant so without permissions we can't double see so grant okay so grant command is the database schema same thing so this is what snow site ui now 
try to create one database. Create database. Suppose like so match. Suppose like match thirty three. So development database. Now what happened? What is shortcut key? Shortcut key. Control plus enter. Enter. Okay. See. No. Okay. See. Control plus enter. Now database has been created. Now same thing. What we should create? We should create schema. So schema. Okay, schema name. So this is the naming practice we should follow. Okay, see. So this is fine. Our important point. Tell me in real time who will create this databases schemas? Which guys? Admin. Which guys? Admin. Okay, yeah, snow, admin snowflake admin. admin. Snowflake admin. So remember. So how before that? Tell me how can we log in into Snowflake? Uh, how many ways we can go for user ID and password or SSO? What is SSO? Single sign on. Single sign on. Okay, see single sign on. Single sign on. Single sign on. Same thing. What is MFA? Multi-factor authentication. One second. Okay, say MFA. MFA is nothing but what? Multi. Multi-factor authentication. Factor authentication. 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 Okay, see. So single sign-on, multi-factor authentication. So mute yourself. Okay, those who want to so make use of earphones. Okay. Okay, see. So single sign-on. MF. Some companies have user ID and the password. Or else by using single sign-on or by using MFA. Okay, so MFA. These things you should have high level. Okay, and daily we'll have what type of call? We'll have Scrum call. Okay, our status call. Remember, if you want to come to IT, these things you should understand. The Scrum call, the Agile methodology. Okay, what is the ticketing tool? Question today asked. Tell me, ticketing tool? Zero. Zero. Zero is the ticketing tool. Okay. Uh, tell me, Sprint, how many weeks of Sprint will be there? Sprint? Usually, two to four weeks, depending on the... Okay, so two to four weeks. Okay. okay, Kumar, make this a fear firm. Okay, see, it will be two to four weeks. Or sometimes we'll have one month, or sometimes we'll have quarter. Okay, three months releases will be there. So depends on the most will be two to four weeks will be there. The sprints. Okay, so these are the basic things we should follow. So sprint will be Such two to uh, uh, how many sprints we have? Like depends on the project. No, so it's like few, so remember, so data migration project will be what it will be. So it will be it will last for one year to Three years. Okay, so if your project is one year, we should calculate how many sprints are there. What's the point of? So it will. So data migration project will long for one year to three years. If you put two years, we should calculate how many sprints we can able to divide as this. So go back here one more time. Now tell me, in the I want to get what is my database name. Ah, uh, tell me how to get the database name. Current database. So if you go for select current. Current database. I can see database. Now what happens? Same thing. How to get the schema? Current schema. 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 Okay. So this is it. Tell me what is my name? So what is my username? We'll go for current user. Current yes. user. Okay. Tell me in real time we'll have only one guy. There'll be multiple team members will be there. So development database, development schema, provenance of is my username. Same thing now. What happened? Now I want to see in this database, in this schema, I want to get list of tables how to get list of tables we should go for show what tables happens? show tables show tables you should go for show tables now what happened i want to create one table see create table table name so before that i'll explain this thing so yesterday i said no i'll i'll try to explain this command session set auto commit equal to false i'll explain this thing so wait for one time okay see now what happened i am trying to create one test id number okay somebody asked no id number we'll see the same thing where are all these things so number now tell me select star from test now what happened tell me okay now same thing tell me it will be there in new session huh? in another session so no, we are we in... want to buy see this is detail because no? we have auto committed pulse no this is detail no detail so one two three four yeah okay Okay. Okay. See, no, one, no, but we have we have done auto committed false, right? No, no, that is for so see. So this is new session. So one, two, three, four is my current session. So my database is 
so batch 33 okay see batch 33 so see now what happened see select star from so test now see this is what so we this is ddl statement so ddl cannot table have so this thing cannot impact ddl statement so by default so ddls are auto committable okay this is for dml's only made okay see so what i made so select star from test so record is there so see table is there here also table is there now what happened i perform one alter statement alter table table name uh, and, when we will after the session set auto commit false, no, what is the purpose of that? No, I will explain one second. Hold on. See what happens. See, now I have added new column. See, so there will be new column will be there. Now, what about here? Data will be popular. The yes. new column? Yes, because so conclusion is that what, what discussed so far. So, DDLs are auto commitable. Auto commitable. So, same thing. Now, go back here. Now, in the session, so session one two three four. Now I'm trying to insert into test test two values. Suppose like one comma one. Now see how many records will be there here. One record will be there. What over the session? It will be there. Na? No, it won't be there because it, it won't be. It, it is. Okay, it is. DML sir, not now. What happened? Mm -hmm. Now try to commit the changes so that. So data will be available. So this is normal functionality in any database. Same thing. Now what happens See in Snowflake? In Snowflake, so see what happened. We are having concept like see show parameters. See show param. Show parameters. See here what see go for auto commit so what happened see its value is true its value is true now what happened see in snowflake important point so dmls are auto committable committable okay i'll explain the same thing so what's the conclusion see in snowflake dmls are auto commit suppose like, see i'm trying to know how many cards are there here okay see simple thing only how many cards one record is there now what happened? I am trying to insert into what's the table? Test table. Test table values. I am giving 100, 100. Now see how many cards will be there here in this session? We'll have two records. What about the session generally? How many cards will be there? One or two generally? Uh, generally, how many cards will be there? One record only. But what happened? See, in Snowflake, see, two records are because I did not commit the transaction. But what happened? So, see, so, okay, getting a confused. See, what happened? Here, auto commit is true. So, by default, true. So, by default, true. Value is true. Now, what happened? <clears throat> Whenever we perform DMLs in Snowflake, no need to commit the transaction commit a transaction so but you see what happened if you want to disable if you want to disable this functionality what i made no alter session set auto commit equals to false see what happened see so as of now how many cards are there how many cards are there here both are so two two records are there now what happened i made alter session set auto commit equal to false so in the sense like what so once you perform any dmls we should we should execute commit so see 8888 eight, eight. so see simple thing only we'll get some now go back now see how many cards will be there here in the session there will be three records will be there what about a session it will be two records only because we disable the auto commit now if we commit to only what happened the the new record will get Populated. Go to point of one more time. I'll try to explain. So, see, important point. I'm opening one more session. See, one more session. Go for show. Sir, you said DML are, auto, are not auto committable. You said no, before. No, one second, one second. See what happened. I'm opening one. So, this is the new session. So, show parameters. See. Now, what happened? Its value is what? Auto commit value is what? Tell me. Auto commit mm -hmm. is true. True. In a sense, like what in Snowflake, this is Snowflake's perspective. What's you know, whenever 
we perform any DMLs. Okay, so any DMLs. What happened? Okay, so any DMLs. So the data will be automatically committed. If you put commit or rollback, there won't be any impact. This is clear. This is clear so far. So see, suppose I create one table. So create table. So this is my EMP, EMP ID number. If this is for Snowflake only, okay, now see, now what happened? Go for this database, this schema. Now try to create the table. Now what happened? Now I'm trying to insert into EMP, EMP. So values one. Now what happened? See, I put one. Now if I put rollback, what will happen generally? Data will get rollback. But what here? So data is getting automatically committed. There won't have any impact, any impact. Got the point? Yes, no, cutting and paste. So see, conclusion is that. Uh, 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 mm, uh, mm, go ahead. If you are, if you are uh, by default, it is true, right? Sir? By so default, it is true. We made it as a, uh, we make it as a false. So every time login time we should change or one time? No, remember one thing. So we don't, so this is session, so session. Okay, so remember in real time, we don't perform insert update. Okay, we uh -huh. data will getting from the, so files will get. Okay, remember one more time. In real time, for practice purpose only, we are changing. But in real time, we don't change these values, this parameter. What the point? I see one more time. So in real time, we don't do update or delete anything. So everything will be there in the form of files format. We'll get all these things. For practice purpose only, to get this value, see what happened. So to solve this value, OK. So OK, so we are getting confused once again. See what happened, what I'm trying to say, see. So to practice this condition, see what happened to, to check the DMLs, DRLs, no? That's why we are trying to disable the functionality, disable the functionality. Okay, so if you see, suppose like by mistake, if you do anything, now what happened, it get automatically committed. Again, we need to insert one. That's why we are trying to disable the functionality. How can I disable the functionality? By using what? By using alter session set auto commit equal to false false okay see false now what happened see how many cards are there there will be one record now what happened now i try to insert 10th record see 10th record now see what happened how two records will be there now if i perform rollback what happened the uncommitted record will get a rolled back because we disable the functionality disable the function suppose like if i open one more session what happened go for show parameters Okay, show parameters like auto commit. Commit, see what happened. So by default, it will be true, true. Now what happens, suppose like same concept, go back here to so see. So that's the same thing. Now take the same value. So see how many cards are there? One record there. Now perform 10th record. Now how many cards will be there here, see? To record if i roll back no there won't be any impact because it is getting automatically committed got the point if you want to disable the functionality so alter session set auto commit equal to false clear so far getting uh, any confusion Sir, in that case ddl and dml both are auto committed only right ah, in, 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 uh, like in, ah, in, in stock so, so, before that uh, dml is non-auto committable that is generally, if you take any database, no, any Oracle database, anything, it's not auto committable. Take any databases. So if you're working for, okay, no, in Snow, in take any Oracle or RDBMS database, no. So compulsory what? So when you perform DMLs, compulsory we should commit. Otherwise what? Okay, this will be in pending state only, if pending state only. Okay, so take any database, Oracle database or SQL server, I think. So see, if you perform DMLs, their function is that word, those are called, Transaction. That's why what is the, then what is the purpose of TCL? Then tell me. There will be noise now, generally. So see, VMs are transaction. This transaction explicitly need to control with the help of TCL. Commit and roll back. So but what happened in Snowflake? No, they disable the functionality. Okay, see? So what happened? So if I go for show parameters, what happened? So see, show parameters. So by default, it will be true. In a sense like what? When you perform any DMLs, it will get automatically committed if you want to overcome this functionality what we should mention order session set auto commit equal to false so that what see so see this value show parameters 
you see it will be false so in a sense like what when you perform anything we need to commit or we should roll back so that these changes will be available in entire session or in entire database getting the point sir mm -hmm. okay Yes, sir. Yeah, got it. Out. So, so in mm -hmm. terms of once we commit, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm committing. Can I do a rollback? Is there a way for it? No, no, it is not possible. So once commit, the data is permanently saved in the database. It is not possible. What the point? No? So simple. What is the conclusion? Tell me. So in RDBMS database, uh, tell me for this one. So DDLs are auto commit anywhere, anywhere. But so DMLs are not auto committable okay so in terms of snowflake perspective so ddls and dmls are auto committable okay if you want to override this dml functionality we should mention alter session set auto commit equal to false so that what false. when you perform dmls compulsory we should commit or rollback so that these changes will get reflected in all the sessions okay clear so far Simple thing, okay. Don't get confused. Normal RBMS function is that word. So DMLs compulsory we should commit. Then only data will be visible for the entire session. But what happened in Snowflake? So DMLs are automatically committed. So to overcome this thing, we should this value. Now somebody asked a question. So go back here. Okay, go back here. So see, create table. So test one one. So ID. Where cap? Okay, same thing. ID one. Where cap two. Where cap two. Same thing. ID two. Text. ID three. String. ID four. Care. Now tell me what is C? I am giving where cap. Where cap two. Text string care. Now try to execute the same thing. See what happened. So see, this is same thing. Okay, now see, this is value. Now tell me how to see list of columns. List of columns, we should go for describe table, table name. So by this, we can able to go back here, see. So this will be like, this. so describe table. Now tell me, I'm giving var care, var care to text string care. Internally, what's converting, tell me. Where care, care only. See, remember? So, see, Snowflake supports where care, where care to text string care because you know what happened in Oracle data in SQL Server, we're having where care. In Oracle database, we're having where care to. So, different database, we're having different data database. So, Snowflake, we say them data migration project. Tell me what exactly data migration project is like what? So, we should migrate the tables. Tables is nothing but what? columns value see columns now data type so that's why snowflake supports it supports where care where care to text string care but internally it's converting to where care data type clear so far yes no see got the point of see so snowflake support all type because we are saying like snowflake is mainly for data migration project okay see so that's why so they want to migrate where care data type also where care to so some data database love where care some database love where care but internally it's converting to where care only clear so far let's get to the point um, sir. So what is um, that one six triple seven um, i will explain see the same thing okay. okay suppose like see the same thing so create table so test so this is my id where care of 30 what is 30 here 30 here data length so yeah. data length Suppose like same thing, now what happened? I'm going for where care. See? Now what happened? How to see this same thing? Describe table, table name. So see table name. Okay, now what happened? See, so ID, what happened? If you mention, it will take 30 as the data size. If you don't mention, it is taking this much value. So this much value is nothing but what it's a select. So tell me 16, one, one MB is nothing but what? One MB is nothing but 1024. Bytes. Okay, see what happened. It is allowing 16 into 1025 megabytes, kilobytes into 1024 bytes. I will explain the same. Thing. Now take the same value. So 16 into 
वन जीरो टू फोर इंटू वन जीरो टू फोर ओके ना वाट हेपन सी सेम वाले गेटिंग है सो इन द सेंस लाइक वाट सो इट विल अकोमोडेट अप टू सिक्सटीन एम बी डेटा साइज कर दो पॉइंट आ सो सी वन एम बी इज नथिंग बट वाट वन एम बी इज वन जीरो टू फोर किलो बाइट्स अगेन वन किलो बाइट्स नथिंग बट वाट सो वन जीरो टू फोर बाइट्स सो सेम कॉन्सेप्ट ना वाट हेपन सिक्सटीन एम बी इज नथिंग बट वाट वन जीरो टू फोर किलो बाइट्स इंटू वन जीरो टू फोर bytes so in the sense like what so if you don't mention it will take up to 16 mb data size data size got the point clear so far yes or no getting so describe so see describe if you mention 30 it will take 30 if you don't mention no it will take the default size of 16 mb yes or no getting the point sir, sir in mm -mm. go ahead sir in real time some of the tables are having json format of क्लियर सो फर Let's get to the points, sir. So see the same thing. Now try to execute the same thing. So see. Okay. So create table. Okay. So insert some data. I am trying to insert some data. Now tell me, do we need to commit or uncommit? Un do we need to commit these changes or not? Any idea? How to check? We should go for show. Parameters. Show parameters. Now see, it is, it is false. False in the sense like what? Tell me. So this record will be there in another session, na? Go back here, no. other session. Okay, see. So bash this dot. Okay, see. Bash. So this is my database. Bash thirty three. Dev schema. So see how to see the database? Select statement. Okay. Select star from. Table now what happens? See, see, so no data. Why? Because what about in the session? In the current session, data will be available. Because see, auto commit we make it to false. So, so see, if I commit only, data will be visible in the new session. New session. So simple only. So see, getting the point. So we disable. So check this value. Show parameters. It will be. It will be false. So it will be. We need to commit. Then only can able to get the data. Select a star from. Table. Now here, what is star? Tell me, what is star? Ah, uh, what is star? Anyone? All columns. All columns. Okay, say star is nothing but what? Name of the star? Star. Name of the star. Projection. Mm. Anyone? Any idea? Star. What operator? Pro projection operator. Okay, see. Select star from. I don't know my table name. Okay, how to get the table name? I don't know what is my table okay. name. Show go for show tables. Show tables. Okay, copy the value. Okay, so see, select a star from table name. Post. Tell me here, star is nothing but what? Say projection operator. So what exactly will it do? Projection operator. I know it will. Entire it will project. All the columns from the table got the point. It's a projection operator. It is projecting all the columns from the table. So see, it is projecting all the columns from the table. Got the point. Now see the same thing. Suppose like I don't want all columns. I want only specific columns. Then what we should write? We should write the specific we columns. Star just uh, mention the column name. So we should mention the column names. Which column we want? So same thing. So see important point. So see, copy the same value. So we'll see the use case. Don't worry. Now, if you put star, now what happened? It is projecting all the columns, all the columns. Tell me why I'm getting employee first, employee name second. Reason? Because it is as per the table order. So see what happened. Yeah. We have created in which order? See first we created employee first, okay. then employee name second. At last, what we created? Department ID. Suppose like I want all columns. Department ID at the starting. Tell me the same thing. Copy the same value. 
we can go for department id at the starting that's it for the point we can able to write like this go to the point we want all columns and the specific column at the starting or else like i want only specific columns employee employee name salary we can able to get like this clear so far getting the point sir yes i'm getting a little bit okay so this is yes, fine okay no issues okay link expiring come back same thing try to join okay so this is fine suppose like i want only department id from employee table now see the same thing now see here 100 100 200 200 i want to get only unique records only unique records tell me how to get only unique records distinct distinct keyword so distinct keyword okay what will you it will you only unique records unique record suppose so like i want to get 300 up 200 and 100 how can i do sorting sorting any idea i want to get so 300 order up by, we should go for by. order by class link expiring complex tied in the same link you see now we should go for order by